Hello, this is David Mandel once again, and welcome to week eight of um, CIS 240L Linux Systems Administration, given in the summer of 2012. Okay, um, this is our well. Next week is finals week. We don't have a final, so next week is really um, a class as usual. I will be in class next week, as well as this week, and um, there will be an assignment due next week. Okay, let's start out here with our introductory material. The first thing, let's look at Caligator.org, because Lab 12, next week's lab, is attend an open source re event and report on it. So. Let's look at what's happening in the Portland area. Of course, if you're not in the Portland area, then this may not be relevant. But, um, but um, well, this was, um, I think these have already passed. This is Monday's events. Uh, actually, that one's kind of interesting, the mediatorial debate on startups and technology. Um, not exactly open source, but well, in a way, it is open source because that's the business of Oregon is open source software, at least the high tech business of Oregon. Um, let's see, other things we have here is tonight we have um, a Chick Tech meeting and a PDX Python monthly talk. We tomorrow night we have qualified self show and tell. Um, I don't know what that one is. Um, okay, and Thursday night we have the Portland UX, uh, PDX UX group. I think that's for user interface group. And um, they are talking about avoiding spaghetti. I'm not actually sure what that's about. I suspect they're talking, well, you could click on the button and find out, but I suspect they're talking about programming without writing spaghetti-like code, which some of us did way back in ancient times. Um, and uh, it tends to be code that is un unmaintainable. Um, but we've, most of us have learned to do things in, in better ways than that now. Um, IT Technical Professionals Mixer at Kells. That's a great bar in downtown. Oh, that's Kells Pearl District. Um, but it's still a great bar, an Irish, I, Irish pub. Um, OK. Hacks, Hackers, Portland Meetup, and so on. And I'll let you look through these. Um, I will mention that Sunday we have the plug uh, Portland Linux Unix group um, Linux clinic at FreeGeek. And as I've said before, this is a great um, um, a great place to go if you need some help with um, oh, getting network to go, getting whatever. It's also a great place to go to help other people. Now that you've taken a Unix systems administration class, it's really a good place to go to help other people and to hone your skills um, and to get some real experience. Um, it's very valuable. Um, the word camp is an interesting thing, too. That's on Saturday, and that's for people that want to use WordPress. Um, OK, let's go back here, and let's go back to our topics. Next topic our quizzes. We're getting down to the end of the quarter now. So uh, quiz four closed on Sunday night. If for some reason you have not taken some of the quizzes, get a hold of me and talk to me. If you're behind on your uh, labs, get a hold of me and talk to me. Or yeah, yeah. talking includes email as well as actual talking. Although you're always welcome to telephone me, to see me in class, to um, come down to Corvallis and visit. I don't care. Um, OK, the next uh, item is quiz five is open. That's our last quiz. And it is open. It closes Sunday night. So you need to do that this week. Class evaluations have also been opened for you. And I really do appreciate it if you do do your class evaluations. Um, that's the way 
my supervisors evaluate me. It's also really the way I know what changes need to be made for uh, next term. They have a rating system, rate you from 1 to 5, and you know, give me an A, B, C, D, E, F, um, or no E, but uh, E for effort. Give me a, um, um, you know, a 1 through 5. But they also have places for comments, and I find the comments to be much more useful than the grades themselves. And um, so I do appreciate your comments on the class evaluations. Uh, next item is for this week, you need to read chapter 11. And in, um, in the book by Jason Eckhart, um, Linux Plus Guide to Linux Certification. Chapter 11 is on um, backups and um, oh, compression backup systems and software installation. We've done some stuff on software installation already, so you should have that in hand pretty well. And compressions, um, um, maybe we've done that, maybe we haven't. But it's fairly straightforward. Backups are never straightforward. Um, the commands are straightforward, but you really need to think about backups. Um, that's an important job of uh, Linux systems administrators is at least often you have people to help you do the backups, but you need to design the system. And you need to be capable of designing a system that not only looks good on paper, but actually works. Um, this is something that pe people have, can lose their jobs over, is not doing a good job with their backups. OK, the last chapter, chapter 14, is on troubleshooting. Take that chapter for what it's worth. Troubleshooting is um, troubleshooting and security. Um, well, this isn't a class on security as such, so the security stuff is pretty light duty. Um, I mean, we've been doing security the entire term. And um, um, and the stuff on troubleshooting, um, I don't know that you can really write articles about troubleshooting. Troubleshooting is important, but I think you learn it from experience. Um, I mean, the basic rule is try to make little changes, isolate your problem, and um, um, only change one thing at a time, or else it gets, you know, too complicated to isolate things. Isolate your problem and then fix it. Um, <laughs> of course, in practice, it's it's a lot more complicated than. Um, well, I mean, that's the basic idea, but in practice, sometimes that gets pretty involved, and um, um, you know, sometimes troubleshooting is easy, sometimes troubleshooting is hard. That's true for all of us, um, um, and half a chapter isn't going to help you on that. But um, but 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 do read it. It it will at least make you think about the issues. Okay, um, and then for this week we have to do Lab 11. So you should have all of your labs uh, done up through Lab 11. Lab 11 done this week. I'm uh, gra currently starting to grade on Lab 10. I have not graded Lab 10 yet, but I'm I'm going to grade that as soon as I get a chance. And uh, Lab 11, I will grade as soon as they are due. Um, there won't be any lag period. And then Lab 12 is due next week. Um, do talk. Uh, okay, people are getting behind. Um, remember. By reading the syllabus, the syllabus clearly states that um, people have to have 100% of their work in to get an A. And um, so you need to get your work in. Even if it's a bit late, it needs to be in to get an A. You need to have, what, no more than one, or is it two missing assignments to get a B? Well, look at the syllabus. And I am really hard-nosed about that, that you, you really need to have things in to get a, um, to get a good grade in the class. Um, or, well, a, or to get a C in the class, too. I don't 
I don't give C's for people that have um, um, that haven't shown that they're up to that caliber of work. Um, I root for people to get much better than a C, but um, but um, but you need to get your work in. That's where you learn, and that's a requirement of this class is that you learn the subject matter. The um, Last item I might talk about is um, podcast and things like that. In Lab 12, if you live out of the Portland area, and I don't know where you live, so if you say you live out of the Portland area, if you live out of the Portland area, if you, you know, so sometimes it's hard to go to an event in person for various reasons. I really, really, really prefer that you go to a lab. Um, that you go to an event and give me a review of the event. Even if it's borderline on whether it's open source or not open source, that's fine. But I I want to see people networking in the world and talking to real people, not sitting in front of a computer. However, if you're really stuck on something, if you happen to be deployed in a submarine or deployed in Afghanistan, it may be difficult to attend an open source event, in which case, um, or if you have some other reason that makes it difficult to attend an open source event, I will give you an out. You can get away with um, listening to a podcast or, or something of that type. Some of the podcasts I recommend are Floss Weekly at the URL given there. Uh, Floss Weekly is um, generally hosted by Randall Swartz. Randall's a good friend of mine, and um, he does a good job, and he gets really good speakers or good people to interview. This is an interview show. He gets the likes of people like Linus and uh, Mad Dog Hall and um, the guys that run the uh, the little rovers on Mars, um, not the new one, but the old one. Um, he's probably trying to get the people that have to do the new one now. Um, and generally gets a lot of interesting people to interview. Uh, once again, FLOSS stands for what? Free, Libra, and open source software. So anything he does fits the category. Um, the Linux Action Show is another show that is uh, quite popular that is a, um, a, ca a Google or a podcast or something of, um, uh, I think they do interviews too, as I recall. Um, I've watched some of them. It's been quite a while since I've watched them. Actually, I'm very bad. I don't listen to many podcasts or things like that, but I do attend live events even coordinate live events, so um, so that's fine. The last one that I have on my list is Linux Outlaws um, at the URL given. And, you know, any of those would be fine, or there's probably oh, many dozens of others as well. However, um, really my preference is for a live event, because um, Live events are just different, you know. It's like the difference between um, an MP4 or, or I mean, um, uh, it's like the difference between listening to your iPod and going to a real live concert. There is no substitute for a real live concert. There is no substitute for going out and meeting open source people in person. So. Um, um, but I wouldn't give up my um, um, recorded music, and likewise, uh, podcasts can be quite valuable. OK, I think um, that's everything for this week. Enjoy the week. Have fun. Bye-bye.